We're outside Manila at the Lausanne Southeast Asian Conference on Creation Care and the Gospel in association with the World Evangelical Alliance and hosted by the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches. And we're a group here of between 80 and 90 Christians from across Southeast Asia from at least nine countries, a mix of church leaders and theology lecturers, professional scientists, conservationists. We've had speakers from government and from all sorts of different areas. And it's been a real privilege to be part of this. Uh, it's been in the planning for more than a year now. I've been part of the planning group working with Ed Brown, Lausanne's senior advocate for creation care. And Arosha has had involvement all the way along from the planning to some of the sessions here. I was able to give a talk on the biblical basis for creation care. And together with my colleagues, Melissa Ong and Samuel Chu, uh, we were able to speak about walking the talk, about practical ways in which we can care for creation. We also talked about integral mission and amongst the groups who are here are several who are in conversation with Arosha about the possibility for starting up national Arosha projects and eventually national organizations in their respective countries. It's been a huge privilege to be here in the Philippines. It's my first visit to this part of the world and alongside the obvious problems of a massive urban area in Metro Manila and the problems of deforestation and many other things that this country faces. It's been a huge encouragement to see so many Christians who are already very active in the area of creation care from our host Bishop Ephraim Tendero through to a local group of Christians in conservation, many of them leaders in different fields, through to others, people from the island of Mindanao in the south of the Philippines who are involved in peace building, working amongst warring tribes, growing organic fair trade coffee uh, and caring for creation, seeing their role as reconciliation with God, ourselves, our neighbours and with the earth, with God's creation as well. And I've, I've just heard so many stories here of Christians, young and old, who are catching a vision for creation care and who are determined to see this take root in the churches and in the societies in their countries. So there are huge challenges that are faced and we really need more people on board. And I would encourage you, if you hear this and you're in Southeast Asia, to contact us in Arosha and to get involved, or you have connections here. Encourage them to contact Arosha to play your part in preserving and caring for the beauties of God's creation. Mm -hmm.